Well, a cabinet manual is in a book form and it contains all the best practice guidance to the executive, basically. So it goes through a variety of issues in the New Zealand context, pretty much the same as the UK draft is doing as well. How to form governments, how ministers should behave, relationships between ministers and officials, those sorts of issues are all set out in what I can best describe as a best practice manual. In New Zealand it's prepared by the officials but in conjunction with members of the executive. So for instance when I was a member of Cabinet, Cabinet approved changes to the Cabinet manual but it was to record past practice. So it wasn't to anticipate problems so much but it was to record uh, what would be the proper practice in a particular situation.